hello everyone today we are going to work on this feature so when this character uh, enter a beam like this it automatically goes to this uh, like skinning is sneaking like uh, pose and slow down the speed and even if I uh, doesn't uh, exactly look along the beam the character moves along the beam it doesn't try to move away from the beam so like this character sticks with the beam and I can turn on these joints as well so when I stop on the beam character legs are like this closer not apart as we are in this position so that's the feature we are going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so yeah so let me add something like a beam first hmm, this we do And let's make it longer right now we can work on both sides uh, I need to be able to test this easily right uh, so right now it is like this I can just walk off this beam anytime I want and it doesn't look very nice so right so how to make this work first there is an option in the character movement which allows us to prevent walking off the ledge so if I just disable it they can walk off the ledge now it's like this now character don't fall down from the ledge but it doesn't look very realistic at all so okay how to achieve a realistic behavior so okay so first let's go here where is the moment input ok right here move forward so ok let's collapse this to a node because uh, this part is going to be a lot bigger than this right now let me get some space here what we do is without uh, considering anything whether we can go more forward is there a place that I can stop on without considering anything uh, the character just add a moment input to the character that's what what happens here now instead of doing it like that first I'm gonna check if I can actually move forward if, uh, if actually there is a, 
if actually there is a place that I can step on so here if this one is not equal to zero so that means there is a moment input right uh, let's do some checks oh, let's do it like this let's add a new branch so this part wouldn't change anything yet but I'll do it like this if it is not equal to zero we, the character will move that doesn't do any change yet so because the reason I did is I'm gonna have to do some traces uh, do some line traces and I don't want to do the line traces always unless my character is trying to move so right here uh, let's define a function like this get move direction forward direction oh oh wait a minute we could simplify this like this uh, let me duplicate this part and use it like this right and let's collapse this to function get move forward direction and let's convert this to a PO function so that we don't have to connect an the execution line right now still nothing is changed it works as usual uh, can I go back yeah it works for both directions okay so now the next thing is here doing a line trace to figure out whether we can actually move forward So how to do that? Okay, so this is the forward vector that we get based on the character controller. Let's take this and add actor location to this. Oh, this should be. multiplied with some value because we need to check the front of the character so how to calculate the front so the speed work speed is 600 okay for this let's use something like 300 right and then add a vector and add another vector then do a line trace by channel oh it's multi line oh no. line trace by channel okay for this uh, let's use camera and this is the start this is the end so start should be higher 
so let's try let's add 90 to this and minus 90 to this one and let's enable debug for duration and if this value well still this doesn't do anything but let's see the traces are working yeah they are working okay now we can do something like this here yeah, let's return this I'll call it can walk no let's call it can move so here let's add another branch with can move so if that is uh, false then a move on to input will not be added Oh, wait. This should be larger than minus 90. Because the capsule half height is 96. So this should be a level below the floor. So let's try hundred and fifty ah oh, sorry this should be minus okay now the character does check before moving forward if it can actually move so now I am pressing W but it doesn't move more than this okay now I guess this 300 is too much so let's try instead of oh, what's the capsules radius 42 okay so therefore let's try 50 okay now the character don't walk away from the beam see but there is a problem because if my controller if I am looking at a direction like this character doesn't move I have to exactly align my controller towards the beam only then the character can move but that's not that wouldn't make my controllers smooth see so even if I am looking slightly away from the forward uh, if I am not aligning with the, even if I am not aligning with my view exactly along the beam the character should still work it, it still walk along the beam even if I am walk, looking at a direction like this so to do that well okay here right now let's break this one and get the hit result let's break the hit result and get the location and add uh, the half height of the character capsule to the set component oh uh, wait no we don't have to do that we can get this one and break 
Okay, we have to break. Oh no. Get this one and subtract the current actor location. Get actor location and then uh, break this and make vector here only the x and y matters get rotation oh wait then normalize this so we get a direction vector I split this and split this okay let's see if this is still works yeah it does so actually what I wanted to see was that now move down and up all right let's fix it oh wait can we get direction with from this uh, get unit direction vector from that uh, to here oh wait wait Oh, right this is the problem I should not consider the vertical point here so break vector I should only consider uh, the horizontal part split now from this one to sorry from this one to this one this location so now we can recombine and now the characters speed should be normal now yeah it is normal okay and character can move up no issue right right but the character can't move down that's because uh, with the move forward that's because this uh, 150 is not enough let's try 180 right okay what's the next thing right I now I want to make this character to be able to work uh, work on along the beam even if I'm not exactly looking at the beam so to enable that um, uh, let's try something like this I'll collapse this part not this one the ah yeah uh, let's collapse this part to a macro and let's call it trace flow
okay so now um, uh, let me go here right to this part uh, when we make the rotator let's add an offset to this part and let's get it as an input because I want to uh, trace slightly uh, to the right and slightly to the left to see if the character can move there so let's call this your offset okay your offset right now let's add a branch here of oh. let's promote this to a variable let's call it hit and if this is a hit then set it set the hit like this I'll break this value as well ah. then call return so now here for the hit I'll use the hit object like this let's make this smaller so if we do not get a valid hit here then let's try it like this let's add a 10 degree I'm gonna optimize this part later but let's do it like this for now I just want to see if this works but I want to go for a more loop based manner uh, right but still if this is false then return with the false here return with the true okay now let's see still we get only one hit one trace why is that I should get three ah sorry this should be 10 and this should be minus 10 right see there are three traces like that okay right now yeah we can develop this method uh, with the loop based uh, using a loop okay uh, now let me delete this and uh, loop for loop first index is uh, 0 last index is how much we should go let's say 5 so we will be checking 50 degrees ok that would be enough 
Oh wait, we can do with the brake. Low fit brake, yeah. Okay, let's do use this. So uh, in this slope, let's do this part. Trace flow like this. And if it is a true, then oh, your offset yeah, should be like this. Yeah, use 10. So for the index 0, we will be receiving 0, and for index 1, we will be receiving 10, 2, we will be receiving 20, like that. Okay, and if this is false then we do another trace flow same way but here minus 10 uh, for 0 we will be duplicating the traces here uh, but for others it will not be for now I'll forget about that Similarly, if we have a hit here, then save the hit here. Or if we have a valid hit, we should break the loop. If we have a valid hit, let's connect it like this. So that's the breaking part. okay so when the loop is completed mm -hmm. oh yeah when the loop is completed uh, we should do it like this uh, is valid uh, no we can't use is valid on a structure but we can get the structure oh wait how it is and we have this blocking hit all right so we can add the branch using this if this is a blocking hit and uh, now this should come from the completed part if it is a blocking hit return this way otherwise return like this we can't move save right let's see if this works See, now it works even if I'm looking at another way, like this. Okay, now I'll go ahead and disable this one. We don't need it anymore. Now it's, we can easily walk on the ledge.
let's try adding another element like this and let's see how it works okay cool right uh, now one more thing I think chicken for five in both side is too much let's limit it to or we can reduce this one no, that would be all right let's limit to four because at uh, spaces at points like corners I get weird results otherwise right and we get this shaking thing effect but we can fix it okay now the next part is we need to change the animation when we are on a beam so how to do that okay so I have imported this animation and this animation so using these two uh, let's quickly create a blend space uh, one d blend space uh, bsp on p okay and here for the horizontal axis uh, let's name this as a speed minimum value zero maximum value let's say 300 and here yeah, for the zero this one idle for 300 this one okay now let's go back here go to the animation blueprint this is the usual third person character blueprint animation blueprint let's go to the anim graph and uh, default state machine mm, here yeah here uh, let's use this uh, be on beam blend space and blend forces by bool break this and let's use this on beam blend space like this for space like this I'll promote this one as uh, on beam okay so how do we update this is in here right like this so just like that uh, let's set this uh, on beam variable but for that we need to access the character mm, to make it easier uh, let's create 
a blueprint interface let's call it vpi character and on p it should return on p now here let's implement that ppi character interface and let's add a variable on b in the character so how do we detect if we are in a b so like here let's set set on b like this if this index is larger than 1 that means we are in a narrow part so on b should be true otherwise it should be false but uh, wait this may not be a good way to change because every time I will this will be zero as well so let's promote let's add a local variable here index and the type of integer set index With the index here and when we return here we can set on B now we can set on B here if the index is larger than 1 we are on a beam now in the interface we can return on beam now here we can get the pawn owner and on beam we can get a user message and see if the character is on B like this on B and also we should change the character's max speed here as well so to do that here if this is true let's call crouch because I am going to use this uh, existing crouch mechanic here 300 branch if we are on beam crouch otherwise on crouch so the speed will be changed accordingly right let's see Oh wait, what's the issue? Did we, did we do something wrong? Check the anim graph. Ah, oh, sorry, 
we forgot to connect this okay now when we enter here no it's not successful it's not successful all right uh, let's try another way I'll enable this again and then this time let's not break this instead let's uh, complete let's check uh, all the possibilities and then uh -huh. How do we do this? Okay, let's forget about this part and this time let's start with minus 4 <coughs> to plus 4 and then Oh wait This hit should be a local variable it doesn't have to be a global variable but that's okay for now mm -hmm. and here let me delete this and then promote this to a local variable I'll call it hits and this should be an array right now get the hits and then uh, regardless of what we get here add like this and here I'm gonna define in two integers index max and index main so max uh, 0 for this one no let's say minus 5 as the default value and for the main let's try something like 10 because we have only 4 as the max value uh, 5 also would work but I'll just leave it as 10 then here if we got a hit right and get the index plus 4 because index starts from minus 4 so I need uh, this value to be vary from 0 to 8 instead of minus 4 to plus 4 uh, the way I, what I am trying to do here is detecting the middle point uh, where we can actually set foot on okay this one if this value is smaller than the index mean we need more space here another branch if this value is smaller than index main which is already 10 set index in uh, with the value of this one 
right and also if this value is larger than index max do another branch should connect to like this this is to set index max set the index max with this value okay now here uh, I'll have another local variable it should be in the type of integer and I'll call it hit count it doesn't have to be a vector so if this is a hit I'll increment hit count like this and then here uh, using the hit count if the hit count is here we check eight times and we have a hit count larger than five no less than four If the hit count is less than 4, then we are on a B. And here now using the hits, then get hit max, hit mean and add and divide by 2 and get the middle point like this so we did a lot of things and I'm not sure that I would be able to get it in the first try, but let's see. Okay, start from here. I can normally walk without any issue. Alright, um, let me It works up to some extent but not perfect Let me limit this to one frame Because nothing is clear now Okay, and those are the lines we are detecting okay so now I see right for this value 4 is not enough it should uh, we should get all hits if um, to uh, make sure that we are not on a B right now it does work but why does this character shake
okay to prevent shaking we may have to do something first the this animation is not suitable because the legs are foot is too far apart so that causes problems so I duplicated this uh, idle animation and uh, to like this and use this one for the on beam so now it is like this like this and yeah that's better than what I had okay now we need to do something about this shaking part all right so let's go here and let's promote this to a variable fwd and then uh, let's get the forward vector again and love this with this new value uh, for alpha maybe 0.1 would work okay now let's see now it doesn't shake better so with that I think we can stop this episode uh, do we need to improve this further are there anything else we should do oh wait maybe there is a way yeah we can do something like this to improve this further uh, so now uh, instead of this blocking hit we can get this hit count and if the hit count is larger than one so only one hit point would be enough if we should uh, return can move through so which point we should get okay so for that um, uh, well we can do something like this duplicate this and get both min and max like this and add the location vectors together and divide it and divide them by 2 So we will get a middle point. Let's see if that works. Uh, 
it does work okay Alright, um, that would be enough. Also, shall we reduce this one? Because I get uh, when I stop the character, it suddenly stops, and because of that, the character's head becomes straight suddenly. Uh, it looks ugly. See, it became straight too fast. But for gameplay reasons, uh, decreasing the deacceleration would be bad. So, therefore. and I have implemented this for only for the W I can use the same approach for D and A as well but I'm not going to do that here because I'm out of time okay uh, maybe we can do some smoothing out here This is where we set the speed. What if we do some love? Like this. That'd be okay. Oh, that's better. It feels more organic now. Okay, so with that, I'd like to stop this episode. Oh, wait, there is a small problem here. I'm pressing W now, and if I press W this way it's okay but when I'm going this way now it doesn't move anymore and I'm not sure what the problem is I need to debug this we are not done yet uh, well I reconnected this scheme again uh, this way that I get the uh, it again and then uh, uh, let's add a print here and append max and min because I want to see what's going on Eight and zero. Ah, oh, yeah, that's correct. In this case, why does it rotate? I get eight and two. So for one hit, we are not moving. 
okay we let's fix it first larger than zero Alright, I think I know what's happening. Maybe we are trying to get the hit that we don't really have a hit. Uh, let's print one more thing here. see if we get a uh, blocking hit okay we get false also why is that okay so the problem happens uh, I'm not sure how but what happens is I try to get the I added a lot of debug prints here so what happens is I try to get the location of a non blogging head so maybe let's let me clean this up a little bit uh -huh. let's delete this first I get the max I get the main all right then let's break a result of the max one And then break the main. I think we should implement another way to get the closest hit, uh, the closest to the forward of the controller we are looking for. So let me define another one closest hit closest right and then here branch get the closest I'll set the default value to 20 get the closest and get the absolute value because we will have minus values for also for this one and this part executes only if this is a blocking head get the index get absolute value right and then if this one is larger than this one that means this index is more closer to zero 
so zero is the closest uh, closest position closest forward position to the forward of the controller that we are currently trying to move so if this is true set closest with the index we got oh no we are not with the index uh, oh wait yes actually this index yes otherwise just continue and then get the closest here and add 4 because this array starts from 0 and this one could have minus 4 as well right now use that location all right now let's see okay now it doesn't have any odd behaviors it works better than before smoothly all right so now I'm really ready to stop this episode right and still there is room for improvement for example my legs a little bit goes to goes out of the beam but those are improvements this is the basic system so even if I try to deliberately go out the characters stick with the platform like this And if I jump, it moves away. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, it does. All right. So, but jumping is another matter. All right. So with that, let's stop this episode for real. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. The link could be in the description below. And thanks for watching. Uh, the project files will be available through in the patron page and see you in another episode so uh, let me know in the comments like uh, if you want more improvements for this system so if you like to work on some other systems they are uh, from other games uh, right thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye